Threatening back streets, chilling murders and an insomniac alcoholic detective. Welcome to the world of Marek Krajewski, the Polish crime writer whose books recreate life in Wrocław after the First World War. Back then, the town in southwest Poland was Breslau and part of Germany. It's a history that fascinated Krajewski. I wanted to break a kind of taboo, and the fact that Wrocław before the war was a taboo subject really got me interested in this town. After World War II and the defeat of Nazi Germany, the region became Polish and the authorities did all they could to erase evidence of its German past. For his research, the author crisscrossed the town to piece together these lost fragments. I go through a directory, reading the street names. Let's take Grabyszynska Street as an example. Here we've got the name of the street with each house described with the names of all the people that lived there and their professions. And then I study the old plans of Wrocław and finally the German newspapers from that time. Krajewski's main protagonist, the policeman Eberhard Mock, has helped propel his crime novels into the mainstream. So far they've been translated into 11 languages, with seven more to come. He creates atmosphere in an incredible way, and so by following the adventures of Eberhard Mock, the reader is completely immersed in the town. For his sixth crime thriller, Krajewski has decided to take his hero out of his comfort zone to a new location, but with a familiar past. The new town is Lwów, the former Polish town, now on Ukrainian soil. <laughs>